Hi there, and welcome to the next edition of Cooking with Jeff. I'm your host, Jeff Peters from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make mashed potatoes. I have a 10 pound bag of potatoes. I'm probably only going to use half this bag, but in any case, it was only $5 at the local supermarket. I also have some organic coconut milk. You don't have to use organic, but this is an alternative because a lot of people like putting regular milk into their mashed potatoes, but I prefer coconut milk, a little bit less dairy-like and um, it's also vegan as well. I also have some vegan basil margarine, which should be pretty good. Yeah. Of course, the usual salt and pepper. This is actually a, a pepper grinder. And I've also got a salt shaker. All right, so the first step we have to do is we have to wash and peel the potatoes. First thing I do is open the bag. I'm just going to wash these potatoes under the uh, cold water. And I will also rub them to rub any dirt off. Very nice looking potatoes. Okay, so next I will just peel the potatoes. I have a regular uh, peeler here. Now if you want a really creamy mashed potatoes, I recommend peeling off all of the skin. But if you like a little bit rougher, you might want to, or with a little bit of more texture, you can leave in some of the skin, but I'm going to get rid of pretty much all of it because my family likes the really creamy potatoes. These look like really good quality potatoes farmed in Canada. Although I'm sure that you can get some wonderful potatoes down in the United States or Germany or wherever you happen to be. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is that while you are peeling the potatoes, you should be putting some water on the stove and turn it on high so it will actually start boiling by the time you finish peeling the potatoes. So I've got a large pot here. I'm actually going to get ready two pots just in case I have a bit of overflow. Turn it on high heat and I'm also going to add a bit of salt to the water. Just a little bit of salt to uh, help it boil a bit better. So I've actually heard that the boiling temperature of water is higher when you add salt. I highly recommend that you put a lid on the pot. Your water will boil a lot faster. You may notice that you're starting to get a lot of potato shavings on your cutting board. But what I recommend is to keep your kitchen area cleaner, always have a bowl on the side. You can just periodically take your trimmings and put them in the bowl to keep your kitchen area clean. I'm just going to wash up the rest of the potatoes. My water started boiling before I was finished peeling all the potatoes. Turn it down to low. All right, so now I've got the potatoes all peeled nicely and I'm going to be adding them to the boiling water. At this time, I'm going to turn the water back onto high heat. Carefully, you don't burn yourself. Water is very hot. All right, so I managed to fit these potatoes all into one pot. So I didn't need the two pots as I thought I would. I'm going to give them a little bit of a stir to make sure that they're evenly distributed here in the, in the pot. And I'm going to pop the lid on. All right, so I'm going to let these potatoes cook for quite a while, maybe at least 10 minutes, and try them with a fork. If they're still hard, I cook them for another 10 or 15 minutes. I don't really want to overcook them, so I have to keep checking them just to make sure that they're not overdone. You don't want them too mushy, otherwise you'll lose the texture of your mashed potatoes. You also don't want them too hard because then you won't be able to mash them very well. Okay, so I've got the potatoes. They've been boiling for about 20 minutes and I've been stirring them occasionally throughout the boiling process. And now you can see that they're actually really soft. I can put, stick my fork through them quite nicely. So they're ready to be mashed now. First of all, drain the water from the potatoes in the colander. And they mash up really easily because I've been 
cooking them enough. They really mash nicely. Okay, now here's the fun part. I'm gonna be putting this organic coconut milk, a little bit of it, into the mashed potatoes to make it even more creamy. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this coconut milk in just to make it a bit creamy. I won't add too much, but just enough. Well, let's give it a taste, see what it tastes like. Mm. All it needs now is a bit of salt and pepper. Add a bit of salt here. So it's done. Since I'm not gonna be eating this until this evening, I'm just gonna put a cover on this and put it in the fridge. And when I'm ready to eat it, I'll put it back on the stove just for about on low heat just to warm it up. And that's that. All right, so that's your video for today, how to make mashed potatoes. Hope you'll check back next time on jeffmobile.com for more cooking with Jeff recipes, as well as my usual videos about Vancouver restaurants, jokes of the day, and discussions about new media and technology. Okay, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.